Hey, it's Robert here from robertcbrown.online. I hope you're having a terrific day wherever you are in the world today. Now, today's video is all about logic versus emotion perfecting your decision making process. So we're going to go through why this is important to understand and get handled, what it will do for you if you do get it handled, what will happen if you don't, and obviously how. The how, that's why you need to hang around. I'm gonna tell you how to get this stuff done so that you can perfect your decision-making process and pretty much get as close to guaranteed as possible that every decision you make is supportive and is gonna be the right decision for you. And then at the end of this video as well, if you wanna dig further and go into even more detail and get more resources, then I'm gonna tell you where to go to get all of that. Sound good? In that case, let's get started. Now here's why you need to get this handled. I see the inability to make a decision, whether it be to, to turn right, turn left, move forward or go backwards, right? Any decision, I see it as being such a difficult thing for so many people. And they don't know whether or not they can trust the decision they come up with. I mean, you know, was that something they came up from logical thought processes? Can they trust that? Was it something that came from inspiration? Can they trust that? Well, we're going to dig into all of that during the course of this video. But the end result of not being able to make a decision is basically that you're standing still and you get caught in this cycle of frustration and it just feel, fills everybody with angst. It's, it's an awful trapped feeling that leads to more frustration and really terrible, terrible stress. And the more important it is for you to sometimes make a decision, the more pressure that's attached to that decision, the more angst we will feel. So it's so important for your mental and physical well-being and your quality of life for you to get decision-making handled quickly and effective every single time. I mean, what this will do for you in terms of your overall quality of life is unbelievable because as we know, life today is complicated or certainly can be, and it loves to throw us, each of us, um, sometimes a substantial curveball once in a while. Okay, so we will have challenges. We will have obstacles to overcome. That is the nature of life. You know, obstacles and challenges are our chance to grow. Okay, they help us to grow as human beings, but more importantly, as spiritual beings. Without that, without contrast, you wouldn't appreciate the good stuff. If you didn't have the negative stuff, then you wouldn't recognize the positive stuff. So we, we mustn't kind of sit here feeling sorry for ourselves. That's just part of the process. That is part of the flow, if you like, that we need these obstacles and challenges for our personal and spiritual growth. So we should actually embrace them and come up with an attitude of bring it on and look at every challenge that we encounter as an opportunity to grow, okay? And that will change the way you feel about everything and make your life easier for a start. The other thing is as well that it's really important to detach from emotion. When it comes to making decisions it's really not good to make decisions from a position of being emotional because most emotion comes from a fear base. And if you make decisions from a fear base, chances are you will ultimately make the wrong decision. It'll be a knee jerk. It'll be a kind of a, a, a kind of thrash out to try and get yourself out of something that you're already in or you think you're going to fall into. In the, in the coming future, in, in the coming days, months, years, whatever. You need to avoid making decisions from a fear base. So you need to not be emotional at all. Now, this is where we come to talking about whether or not we trust the logical thought process, which is where all of our physical challenges, and when I say physical, I don't mean in terms of your body. I mean, in terms of the world we live in that we perceive with our two eyes our physical reality. All of our challenges and problems that we face in that physical day-to-day -day reality are created on a level of conscious thinking. You cannot hope to solve those challenges 
from the same level of thinking that created them. Does that make sense? You have to access a higher level of thinking. And that's when we come to trusting your inspiration, your intuition, your higher self, your connection to your source, where you came from. Spirit is what I'm talking about. The spirit that is there before your human body and is there after your human body is discarded. The you that really is you. Each one of us comes from spirit and will eventually return to spirit. There is no such thing as death. This is just a lesson, all of it. It's just a lesson. Now, on that plane, there is no emotion. There is no fear, there is no pain. So that level of intelligence is the level that you need to access to make your really important life-changing decisions. Now, something I heard years and years ago, which I've found to be the case many, many times, is, is that you should trust your gut, your gut instinct, because the gut has not evolved to a place where it confuses everything with logic. And that is so true. When we have decisions that we have to make, we quite often overthink everything. And as a result, we get nowhere with what we're trying to decide. Okay, so here's how you get this stuff handled. I'm gonna give you a practical solution. I'm gonna give you a spiritual solution to get your decision making handled. And you can choose whichever fits best with where you are on your path, on your journey through life right now. Uh, but there is no reason why you should be stuck in a situation where you cannot make a decision and move forward. Now, okay, let's talk on a practical level right now. What you need to do if you cannot make a decision in any one direction is take some action in one direction and move forward. And what this does on a physical level is it your brain actually shuts down the amygdala, which is your fear response. OK, so what you do by making a decision, look, I don't know whether to go left, right or forward, straight ahead or even go back. I don't know. Choose one. Choose one. Take that path. The amygdala will shut down. You won't feel the fear because you're taking some course of action. And during that course of action, you will get signs, you will get answers. They will show up to tell you whether or not you need to adjust the path you're on or whether or not you're on the right path. But by taking a course of action, you at least get your answer that way, in a practical way. And you will suppress the fear by actually moving. Moving forward shuts down your fear response. So that's the practical thing that you can do. Now, I'm always going to push you towards a spiritual solution, okay? Because I believe that spiritual solution is the one that is coming from the essence of who you really are. So therefore, it will be most likely the most supportive and the most in line with who you are as a spiritual being as well as a human being, and it will be in line with your true purpose. So you're much more likely to experience true harmony in life if you follow the spiritual route. So that being said, the spiritual route I would suggest for you, your prescription if you like, would be to go into meditation, take some time to meditate and ask the question, ask the question of your higher self, what should I do? What direction is the best for me to follow? Whatever your question is. Now, the answer to that question may not come and slap you in the face the first time you try this, but eventually you will get a flash of inspiration from out of the blue. But then you need to have the courage to follow it with conviction, because that is coming from a place that is not tainted with fear. It is not going to direct you um, in a kind of logical, thought-based, reactionary way, it's going to send you down your true spiritual path, which is the path, path, incidentally, of least resistance to the place that you need to be or you want to be. I hope that makes sense. Here's the challenge. You need to suspend any disbelief you may currently be holding. And you need to trust that this spiritual process works. 
Now, I can't convince you that it works by just telling you. You need to experience it. And the only way you can experience it is by suspending disbelief and trying it and then see what shows up in your life and come back and tell me I was wrong. You won't. You won't tell me I was wrong because you'll see the results will show up in your life. So try those things. And another little practical tip as well, if you absolutely feel frozen with fear about something, a good little tip to alleviate the fear is to meet it head on and just ask yourself this one question. What is the worst thing that could happen if I take this course of action? And then determine whether or not you can live with that. And if you can, move forward. And if you feel you can't, and the fear is gripping you thinking about it, then try another course of action. Everything in life has a price, everything. Nothing is excluded. It's a very sim simple formula, you apply it to everything. Every decision in life. What is the price of making this decision? Or what is the potential price of making this decision? Am I prepared to pay that price? And if you are, move forward. If you are not, look for something else. It's as simple as that. But what I encourage you to do is get out of the decision-making process as soon as possible and get some movement forward. In other words, take some action. The quicker you do that, the quicker your life will turn around and the quicker you will get to where you're trying to get to in your life. So look, I hope that's been helpful. If it has, leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. And um, keep checking in because I make these things every day. I'm passionate about this stuff and I guess you are too or you wouldn't be here. If you do want to dig much, much deeper, get over to robertcbrown.online. That's robertcbrown.online. Join my community. Love to have you over there. Full of like-minded individuals that all want to get more involved in their own personal growth, spiritual growth, and of course, they want to make ultimately a difference in this world of ours, so it's a better place for all of us to live in. If that sounds like the type of person you are, and I'm guessing it may well be, get yourself across there, you'd be very, very welcome. And until next time, have a wonderful time, live every day to its max, and I'll catch you soon. It's Robert here, thanks for watching the video. I hope you've really, really enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this, then please subscribe to this channel and come back and see many, many more doing these things all the time. And if you wanna know when the next one comes up, click the little bell and you'll get a notification each and every time we've got a new video up there for you to have a look at. Um, and the other thing is, I nearly forgot. If you look, love everything to do with personal development, business development, and just getting yourself into a peak state, then you're gonna to wanna to get over to my free webinar training, which is gonna show you exactly the steps to take to overcome any inner barriers that are stopping you from achieving in life and business right now, and exactly what to do to get that put right and start living the life of your dreams, starting right now. Sounds like a tall order? Promise you, you can do this stuff. Get across to my webinar training. The link is in the uh, description below this video. I hope to see you there, and at the very least, I hope that you click the bell, I hope you subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you back here again soon.